Tactical gets up and wins this match, that'll be it. All over Red Rover. He'll be going to World Championship 27. Gavin Thompson got to dig deep, got to find something that's going to get him back into this match. Is but that as it? we've seen, Corey, <laughs> as we've seen, there's a tough old matchup for the Gruel deck. Yeah, absolutely. Starting off with a no lander there. That is not what Gavin wants to be seeing here. We saw the match with that Gavin beat Jan Merkel right before uh, he landed a spot in this qualification match. And it was a lot of really, really strong draws and a lot of stumbles from yeah. Jan Merkel. And I think that's what we need here. That's what that's certainly not what uh it's certainly what Gavin Thompson is hoping for here. Yeah. Merkel, Mulliganing. And putting away a frostbite. It's really interesting to see the work Anal has done, man. I mean, we've we've had a giggle about a couple of cards, Mind Player and all some other silly cards that uh, you know, we sort of looked at like, oh, okay, well, these are yeah. pretty niche role plays, but Anal's done a ton of work. Oh my goodness, holding off everything from a Seeker's Chariot to uh yeah. to Cure Best of Sea God to Embercleave to Maze Mind Time. Yeah, it really is incredible. And just look at this. Like, essentially, Frostbite can be Lightning Bolt to creatures in the matchup. We mm -hmm. put Lightning Bolt on the graveyard instead of a Null in this sort of aggro null. matchup. That's yeah. so telling. That's yeah. so telling. It's just incredible. But Thompson off to an absolute flyer here. Spewing out creatures like he's playing old school modern affinity. But taking <laughs> pressure down with the Bone Crusher Giant. A great card in this matchup. There's another adventure card in the form of Lovestruck Beast here. So Thompson's certainly playing out creatures, putting on some uh, some pressure here. So it's up to Merkel to find the pieces to dismantle this. Yeah, a great start. And now the pressure is going to be on Gavin to just draw anything, right? Like, because Gavin is out of gas, completely spent, no mm -hmm, more things mm -hmm. in the tank. And if he can find two really good draws off the top, can put himself in a position where he can take this down, but... But missing here, maybe a 1-1 one, one off the top or a Lovestruck Beast is probably the best. Hey, Goldspan Dragon good. is not too bad at all. It can actually be cast as well this turn, even with the loss of that 1-1. One, one, still some business. And look at Jan Merkel. Repositions himself awkwardly in his seat because that is pure plasma off the top of Gavin Thompson's library. The perfect draw there, more or less. To keep the pressure going, keep the mana flowing. And he'll be hoping for more stuff like that as Jan Merkel here has to sort of... Uh, Pause for a second to figure out how he's going to continue. He puts Yori on in hand. That's a handy blocker for the dragon. He's going to get a bit of a break at least. Takes just five this turn as a land is the draw for Gavin Thompson. Yeah, has to Yori in here just to be able to step in the way of this Goldspan dragon and just says, please do not draw Ember Cleaver or anything like that. And then all of a sudden, Jan Merkel is stabilized. Yep, yep. Behind a 4-5 drawing. Yeah, that, yep. that, and look at that. The old fingers <laughs> crossed from Jan Merkel. <laughs> fingers crossed to make sure it's nothing and his uh, his prayers will be answered here as it's just a uh, just a pathway that he has to find his way uh, through here which is not going to be too difficult not going to be too difficult to turn here for Merkel Thompson that. yeah look at that a rueful a rueful nod of the head here for Gavin Thompson tell you what he's got great taste in bands not so great taste in top decks for the last couple of turns yeah, I guess so. No kidding. Yeah, and if you, Jan Merkel knows that no matter what, if you're waiting this long, it's not Embercleave. Embercleave <laughs> was the one that you absolutely like, jammed, but... <laughs> if he had two cards, maybe Merkel's like, now, oh, he's got two really good cards. He's trying to decide which one he wants to cast here. Yeah. But uh, if it's just one and you're tanking, he's like, okay, it's binary, man. Like, you're casting the card or you're not, so... Yeah, and Gavin now with Thompson. the Anol... And now with the Anol, it's it's kind of wrapped up. So what Jan Merkel is really thinking about now is to cast Bone Crusher Giant or not. Mm, mm, and mm. the one thing that is is a question to not cast it is just in case Gavin has, let's say, a one drop for whatever reason in hand, plays that, and you want to stomp plus counter Ember Cleaves. So I like this. You know, it's pretty tough for Gavin to have those two cards without playing a one one and attacking with Lovestruck Beast last turn. Yeah, he'd have to draw a one one and an Ember Cleave. <laughs> Uh, in one draw weird step. split card. Weird split yeah. card. Well, he finds a split card of a sort in, in the form of a Rimrock Knight. Now, this allows the Goldspan Dragon to attack into Yorion. Yeah. But not, draw. not at a profit, however. It's not as though the Goldspan Dragon survives here. It'll make a couple of treasure tokens, no worries. But still, you know, this is still a trade. I mean, Thompson has to do it. He has to do something yeah. here. He has to try to get himself back into this game. But... You know, this isn't the uh, the Stone Cold Killer we'd be hoping for, as as the dragon will trade off. 
Yeah, and surprisingly, you know, not many times are you hoping that your opponent has Embercleave, but that was one of those moments where Jan Merkel would have just gotten to eat that dragon for mm. free mm -hmm. if that Rimrock Knight was uh, um, an Embercleave instead. So, um, you know, a little bit of a sigh of relief from Gavin getting that card off the battlefield. So, Thompson, having a look at exactly what's in his graveyard and what other options he's got, but I tell you what, if you're in far in between, Bone Crusher Giant, the Stomp part takes out a 3-1 Rimrock Knight, and now just tapping out for Kiora Best of Sea God, and this is the death knell for Gruul. This has been a quick and decisive uh, game here for Jan Merkel, who has weathered the early storm, got hit down to nine, a relatively comfortable life total, but Gavin Thompson here with a top deck. No, can't find it. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say with a top deck, but again, he needs a 1-1 one, one and an Embercleave, so that's just not, you can't draw two cards in one draw step, so... Yeah, I was really looking for gold span or something yeah. there. But as it stands, you know, Jan Merkel is going to have a new favorite creature type if he were to send himself to the world championship. And I think it'd be a Kraken, Riley. Yeah, he is going to be cracking along to that world championship at this rate. A second Kira Best to Sea God. He can keep up a null this time around with the land off the top. And I, I mean... Bang. I mean, it's not over, right? It's not over <laughs> until until the cards stop falling, but I cannot see how Gavin Thompson can get back. It's good to see that he's weathering this with a bit of a smile. It's a rueful smile all the same, but I think Gavin knows that this is a rough, tough matchup here, and I don't see how he gets back into this. A stomp goes upstairs, knocks Merkel down to seven, and Jan Merkel looks to be ever, inching ever closer here with a game one win to that world championship invitation just one seat remaining at the world championship and right now it looks to be going the way of the german here because he is in a very commanding position one game needed gavin thompson on the other hand has to win this match and then another if he's going to clinch the seat for himself and the way that we've seen this matchup pan out Corey, that does not seem to be a probable outcome it hasn't been good Hasn't been good at all. So far, it seems like Jan Merkel kind of took that 2-0 victory uh, that Gavin had over him in the previous round personally, because so far, it has not looked fair. It is no. a 3-0 in game so far, and it's just been yep. overall a thorough beating. Oh, and look at that hand from Jan so Merkel. Yeah, yep. yep. Gavin Thompson is being given what's known in the business as the business here <laughs> by Jan Merkel. And... Uh, this hand, ah, it looks fine, right? You've got a Shark Typhoon, you've got a Burning Hands, yeah. Gavin Thompson mulliganing. Oh, no. And there's a second oh, mulligan no, to five. no, not like this. Gavin Thompson, I mean, you've got to feel for the bloke. He has played a hell of a tournament. He has done so well to get himself in this position, but in an unfavorable matchup, a mulligan to five, it is going to require a miracle for Gavin Thompson to climb yeah. back into this uh, back into this match. And Deciding I mean, what he wants, wants to put on the bottom here, it's going to be Embercleave and Shatterskull smashing. Sorry, go ahead, Corey. And just think about Jan Merkel's year as well. Had mm. a premium win on the Magic Online circuit. His win percentage for like all of these tournaments, he has just had the highest one. I think his historic win rate was like 81% last time. His standard yeah. win rate was 77% here. Jan Merkel has been really just playing unbelievable Magic over and over and over again, tournament after tournament. And it's really no surprise that he's putting himself in an excellent position to go play against, well, the best players at the biggest stage for the yeah. World Championship. Test his skills against uh, the best of the best here. As Thompson plays out a Bone Crusher Giant after Magda eats a Burning Hands. But look at this, two cards in hand, one of them a Snakes in Val, the other a Land to Merkel, sitting on an embarrassment of riches. I think he's considering whether he wants to take a turn off to cast the expressive iteration. I think he probably will. There's not a whole lot else he can do, right? Like he can play yeah. a shark for one to block a little bit. He can play an omen of the sea to continue to sculpt his hand. But I think taking four here, particularly as your opponent's only on two cards, is probably okay here for Yanni. He's, yeah. he's weighing it up. He's thinking about it. Here's the one way that Gavin takes this game down. It's if Jan Merkel whatever he plays doesn't find a null and we see a chariot. I swear. Oh my I'm goodness. Oh wow. my goodness. That is exactly, I've been calling him today, Riley. Yeah. And uh, this oh, is really the only Nostradamus. way Gavin can do this. Nostradamus is in the booth with me here, Corey Baumeister. <laughs> Got to get those lottery numbers off you, my friend.
Okay, so, and here is a huge see. omen. A null off the top. Omen of the sea, a null. What do we got? No. Uh, not there. All right, a blind draw now. Scry two to the bottom and huh, Prismari Ooh, Command. Hey, Prismari Command, is, it's, it's, an, it's not the neatest and tidiest answer, but it will still deal with this chariot. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We got a snakeskin veil right now. You got to do it right now or in mm -hmm. response to that crew. So we'll see how this gets played out. This could easily just be a dominating game by Gavin all of a sudden. And we were just kind of, yeah. you I know. mean, we've we've seen we've seen Thompson win in this matchup. It's not a favorable matchup, but it's a matchup yeah. that is at least winnable here. So the Asika's chariot activation, Merkel <laughs> must cast Prismari Command in No. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, it because doesn't even matter because he can double crew. He can double crew it. He can double crew it. So Merkel actually missed the chance to shatter this Asika's chariot. Yep. Because of that bone crusher giant, Asika's chariot can be crewed again in response, and then the snakeskin veil can make sure it survives. So this Asika's chariot is guaranteed to survive at least the turn. At this point, Gavin is heavily favored to win this game, which is so crazy. From two turns ago, we were like, yep, <laughs> give Jan Merkel the trophy, basically, because it looked so bad. All of a sudden, that one key draw of Chariot yeah. on turn four without being able to find a null and having the wild wow. snakeskin veil, all wow. of a sudden, it's looking awful for Jan Merkel. This game has turned on a dime. <laughs> and Gavin Thompson, you know, Jan Merkel's already speed dialing mum. Mama well done it. I'm going to the world championship. Don't worry about it. And now Prismari Command is going to be met with a snakeskin veil. Gavin Thompson, after a mulligan to five, is turning this car around here and is going to get in for nine, make another cat token. Turning this Cadillac around, if you will. In they come. Bang. Merkel down to seven, facing what's known as <laughs> extremely lethal next turn. Den of the Bugbear. Mind Lair flare. of the Hydra. Mind Flayer off the top isn't a bad one. Hey, we do have Mind Flayer into Kiora Best the Sea God. Is that even going to be enough, though? I think you almost have to take this cat. You have to just take, to oh, yeah, you have to take the untapped 2 2. You have to, yeah, to block, exactly. And now you have Den to get in there. You can crew the chariot. If you just attack with Den, Bone Crusher and Den can get blocked by the two creatures, and then you have five damage coming in, so it doesn't look like lethal. So, uh, yeah, the Mind Flayer is going to keep Jan Merkel alive, and then Kiora comes down. See if that is enough here. Kiora best to see God making it a hexproof 8-8. Eight, eight. Certainly one way to shore up those defenses. So, four mana. Going to wake up the Den of the Bugbear. This creates two warm bodies. The cat's crewing the chariot, as the Seeker intended. And in they come. This is an attack for 12. Hey, okay, and you want to be able to keep that mind Sorry, player alive 13, if excuse me. Yeah, 13. you want to be able to keep it alive if you can. Doesn't really look like that's an option. So take no. six, go to one. Cure best of sea god is not gonna save you there. You need Cinderclasm here. Doesn't find it. Doesn't Express find it. into Cinderclasm might still yeah, no, because okay. then then the layer still oh, takes yeah, you down or the, the chariot. Yeah. Gavin's gonna win this or game. The... <laughs> Oh, oh the high! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What a game of magic! Gavin Thompson wow. in a nightmare matchup, mulliganing to five, drawing and the Jan only Merkel. thing that gave him the chance. That turn four chariot. Yep, with Jan Merkel with a shatter in hand, chose not to play it when Thompson was tapped out, and he's paying the ultimate price here because it looks like he's the one who's going to go down. Let's see though; it's not over until it's over. What we said, you know, you can you can try to make the call, but at the end of the day, you never know. Expressive iteration does not find Jan Merkel what he needs. And what a miraculous win there for Gavin Thompson, who equalizes and gives himself a sniff at staying in this series. This is a best of three matches series. So if, if Thompson wins here at one and one, yeah, he will force the deciding match. And Such so far, drama, Corey. It's not what we expected, <laughs> man. It's not what we expected. Not at all. And so far, Gavin, across these four games, or, yeah, four games that we have played so far, has mulliganed six times. So that is way above expectation. If he could keep oh, up and... Oh, this dude. Oh, my goodness. I was going to say, he's due a good hand. Like, he's due a good hand by he's now, due. surely. Okay, well, this works at least. No, no green Does mana. It? 
Oh my goodness, no green mana, dude, come on. Oh my god, Gavin is experiencing variants at the worst possible time. This Gruel deck is a very consistent deck. Yeah, you keep is. a lot of hands, you know? Oh, I mean, it, it's, dude. it's a two-color deck with a pretty good mana base relatively to the rest of the format, and all you just need is just one green source, and this hand is stacked. This hand's bonkers why, yeah, with just might... like basic forest, man. You might keep this. You might keep this because you don't necessarily absolutely need it on turn one. I think you it, have it to. helps. I think you have I, to I think I keep this too. I keep some loose gooses every once in a while, though, Riley. Let me tell you. Yeah. Well, a land off the top, a, a, a basic forest off. Yeah, and you can see Gavin Thompson <laughs> offering up a prayer to the old gods and the new here. Bestow upon me a basic forest. No, it doesn't. It's a green spell. Praying no. to all the frogs. <laughs> Yeah, Gavin needs it right now. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Oh, you really feel for him, don't you? You really feel for him really here. Do. Omen of the Sea here for Jan Merkel. He's not having any mana issues. Yeah. <laughs> He's got Jan? fixing for days. And here's the thing is, Jan's hand is one of those hands that, given the right amount of time, is going to be great because there's so much card draw. So those are the type of hands that lose to a hyper-aggressive start, which is mm. so frustrating because Gavin had it. He just needs the forest. And it, his hand would have really punished Jan Merkel's keep there, which is relatively reactive mm -hmm. and, or excuse me, relatively, you know, just with a bunch of card draws and doesn't have a ton of ways to interact outside of one Cinderclasm. It's a misfortune here for Gavin Thompson, but hey, we, we had already, we had already started to, uh, you know, punch uh merkel's ticket here for the world championship uh in game number two so let's not get too hasty oh, no. oh maybe we should start getting hasty because that's another unplayable card here for thompson cannot find a green mana source for love no money and uh, it looks like he's just about ready to concede as well and this is not the way you want the tournament to end this is not no. how you want to go out i mean gavin thompson full credit to him here he has played oh uh, uh, you know an absolute a huge weekend. It's been, he's played like a champion, but unfortunately. And, I mean, and even dating back to the challenger gauntlet, just put mm. a gruel clinic out. Gavin knows this gruel deck. I'll, I'll safely say pretty much better than anybody else in the world. Like just the way he's been playing, he knows every intricacy. He doesn't even have to tank that long. Cause he knows exactly what to do in each situation. Gavin has made this gruel deck look amazing and and you may say well yeah but what about that keep Corey? that was a calculated risk mm. that was totally a calculated risk where yeah sure there's some percentages of the time where he just loses straight up without drawing a land but there's a lot of times where if he would have just gotten somewhat lucky that this hand would have been on you know this hand another been another mountain another mountain yeah. not what he wants to see here yeah yikes real real rough stuff here for gavin thompson but Jan Merkel at the moment, he'll be uh, thanking his stars that he is uh, having such an easy time. But Den of the Bugbear, not only a not a green land, but also a tap land on top of that. Yeah, Gavin's deck is just absolutely taunting him right now. Seven, seven mulligans in in this course of this matchup against Jan Merkel, plus the time where he keeps a close one with seven times yeah. in a row like this is some really really bad luck here for Gavin. oh yeah and all the armchair analysts will be at it being like oh it's a bad keep all that sort of stuff i mean these are people who seem to only think you know they only think a calculated risk is worth it if it pays off oh i only yeah. take calculated risks when it when it when it ends up perfect for me very good <laughs> yeah yeah what, a, yeah what a smart what an enormous brain you have my friend <laughs> no, look, Seth I'm not Manfield gonna... keeps uh, keeps some sketchy hands, and he's one of the best players in the world. So, I I'm all for that keep, and I will stand by it uh, oh, yeah. until the I, end. I don't think I don't think you can fault Gavin Thompson for holding that hand. I mean, he is. I don't think he can afford to go to five again and hope to pull out another victory out of thin air just like that last one. And and you know, with yeah. a basic forest, his hand is unlocked. He's in good shape. But as it is, Merkel has had time to fiddly fart around with selection with uh, draw spells, looking at different stuff with scrying, expressive iteration in hand, plenty of action as well, as you see there between removal counter spells and threats. Yeah, Just an embarrassment of riches. Hand size. <laughs> yeah, two cards on top. I mean, this feels to discarding removal to oh, hand size. Wow. And just to rub a little more salt into the wound here for Gavin Thompson, finds a tapped green source.
Not like this. Not, Not like this at like all. like this, man. So, so brutal. But our attention now turns to Jan Merkel, who's getting on the front foot, attacking in with Yorion. Here comes an expressive iteration as well, shoring up that hand even further. And even now, when Gavin Thompson can start to deploy the stuff that he has, it's going to be too late because, as you can see, Merkel, handful of business. Handful of business, probably going to see like a Fertel or something just to not discard to yeah. hand size once mm -hmm. again. And if you're at that spot against the control deck where they're like, oh, I could just discard one of these cards or I guess I'll play it. That's not where you want to be. Is it going to be a stomp upstairs? Stomp upstairs, probably, or even stomp just cast upstairs. it. Might even just With cast it. Just a bone crusher giant. Yeah, just playing out a 4-3 here. It's got Essence Scatter, got Negate. Got everything you'd need. Here's another green source as well. Hey, look, you can double spell at least. You can, yeah. uh, you know, there's only one counter spell to fight through. So at least you can get two things on the board here. Thompson now has to consider what he wants it to be. Yeah, that's true. If you can only get one thing countered, maybe something like a Zika's Chariot plus Ranger class, but. Yeah, my <sighs> thinking is you open with Ranger class, hope that that's get, get, that gets countered. And if it does, you, you obviously play the Zika's Chariot because that's a great threat. And if it doesn't get counted, fantastic. You just got a range of class, man. Yeah, looks like we are just trying to draw more cards to be able to really yeah. start mm -hmm. double, triple spelling. But yeah, wow, this is a very late edge wall innkeeper. Yeah. And that's the, the first spell This is the first spell, this is the first spell of the game. That's what first I was spell just going to say as well. Here. First spell he of the game for Thompson here. He just pissed He's like, got him. <laughs> Resolve. Really, really rough stuff. Edge wall innkeeper draws a card off of the Lovestruck Beast here. 5-5 five, five on the stack. Is it going to be Essence Scattered? No, it's not. There's a Burning Hands to take care of it or a Frostbite to remove the Edgewell Innkeeper. But uh, no, Burning Hands removes the 5-5, five, five, 6 damage, 2 mana. Pretty good rate there for Burning Hands. Probably going to see a stomp here on this Edgewell Innkeeper and then just play the Bone Crusher Giant. Keep the pressure on, have Sod coming available, mm -hmm. attack Gavin down to 8. And then at this point, we could be seeing the final turn before we send Jan Merkel to the World Championship. Yep, it's looking increasingly likely here. A stomp targeting the Edge Warrior Keeper. That removes it as a blocker. Eight damage coming across. Nothing that Thompson can do about that. His life total is halved. And now facing lethal, Jan Merkel. One combat away from locking up his spot at the World Championship. Goldspan Dragon off the top here. Thompson. Holding on for dear life, but I don't know what there is left that he can do. Jan Merkel has played a blinder, dropping just one game in this best of three series for our final here. And he is poised to claim that seat, to stake his position at the World Championship 27. Goldspan Dragon, the play. And Essence Scatter will prompt a concession for Gavin Thompson. And Jan Merkel is going to the World Championship after an incredible performance across the entire weekend. Look at that. A celebration for him. He is riding high on that victory. And it is a very richly deserved one for the German superstar.